Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome to episode number 17 of our Cold Waters 1968 campaign. This is the final episode as we try to hunt down the Soviet ballistic missile submarines that are trying to break out into the North Atlantic. We have intercepted them just north of the UK, and we have Sierra 1 here, which has faded. The brief look I did get at her signature, it did seem to be a Yankee class SSBN. So that is going to be mission primary target. They also said that there was enemy attack subs in the area, so we need to be on the lookout for that. Here's the sea state. We have a very leak, a very weak layer at 82 feet, and the ambient noise is 83 decibels. Let's change course to head directly towards Sierra Don't One. She is pretty close, yeah, within 10,000 yards. Nearby. Use some time compression as well. We are rigged for ultra quiet. And as you can see, we have a full complement of Mark 37 torpedoes loaded in the tubes and ready to go. Steady course. We're going to get nice and close to her. We did not pick up on this enemy's course, speed, or anything like that. We just got a brief glimpse at it uh, because she did start cavitating. So we'll move towards this area. And hopefully we'll be able to pick her up. Let's drop down to 400 feet and we'll move a little quicker. It's a fairly sw uh, silent sub. It's semi-quiet. And I, I have not picked up any of the escorts, so... Dive at four, zero, zero feet, dive by. Okay, we'll make turns for 15 knots. Make turns for one, five, nine, Close in on this location. I think this is our best bet here. Trying to get nice and close and then fire. What's her top speed? 24 knots. Okay, we had an active ping... Drop down to five knots, rig for ultra quiet. Hopefully we don't die in this episode. It'd be it'd be hilarious if we made it this far and died. Although the final missions tend to be very difficult from what I have personally played. So we have some pings off to the northwest. I don't know if that's our Yankee friend. It could be one of the escorts. I'm assuming the escorts are probably going to be victors or something <laughs> scary. Let's change course and head that way. I'm also 82 feet. Would they really be that shallow? Let's try. Let's check it out. Come up to periscope depth. We are in the right area, however. It's just a matter of finding them. Okay. We are up at PD. I highly doubt we'll see anything here, but up periscope. No fishing smacks or anything like that. Nope, doesn't look like it. Down scope, just to be sure. Make sure there's absolutely nothing. Okay, we've got a trawler. Okay. Good to know that is here. Lower the radar map. All right. In that case, let's drop back down to 400 feet. Make depth four, zero, zero feet. Sierra three, new contact. What are you? Not a victor, a golf. Con sonar, Sierra three is classified as submerged submarine. We have two boomers here. I think Sierra one's a Yankee, but I cannot confirm that. This is definitely one of our targets and she can hear us. She is very quiet. Diesel electric boats tend Don't to be. Right two, three, five, eight. Help Let's try to maneuver into our baffles. Oh, well. This is peculiar. What? Okay, she just pinged. She... Sonar, fuck. From there we go. Uh, what's her top speed? Top speed is 15 knots. Okay, tube one. Active. Con Fire. Helm. Steady course. Con sonar. Increase Long speed to 15 knots. Change course. 295. Come left to 295. You know what? 294, that works for me. Close enough for government work. All ahead full. Con, sonar. Fuck. Torpedo in the water. Torpedo okay, noisemaker away. Three, three, 
I'll head flank. Oh, geez. Not like this. Okay. <laughs> oh, a little too close. I lost the wire on tube number one. Passing 400 feet. See, is that torpedo coming back around? Let's try to get out of the way. Maybe it'll lock onto the Gulf. Oh, this torpedo's on me. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra. Con, knuckle. knuckle. There we go. It's breaking off. Okay, my torpedo is now active. Let's drop down to 600 feet so we can stop cavitating. Con sonar noisemaker bearing zero three seven. Con knuckle form. Another knuckle. Passing 400 feet. My torpedo is just... It missed. It's gone. Keep going down. We're about to pass 500 feet. Passing Should stop cavitating soon. There we no go. Cavitating. Another noisemaker. Go. It's broken off. Let's chase the golf down. Passing 600 feet. Level out. See what this torpedo does. Okay, we have more pings out here. I don't know if that's the golf or something else. Let's see, is the torpedo going to continue its circle search pattern? I think it is. Okay, we made it out. Let's keep going flank for a little bit, just to put some distance between me and this eel. Con sonar regained contact. Wow, that's a golf. Sierra three, come right to zero nine six helm I. She booked it. Con helm steady course. Now I am concerned about Sierra one. There has. There has to be more subs than just this, and they haven't fired at me just yet. So, my question is, where are her escorts? What a, what an ugly sub. <laughs> and just, that's, that's pretty bad looking, aesthetically. Okay, slow down, make speed five knots. Five knots, maneuvering eye. Okay. Guess I could have been reloading another Mark 37. I'm not sure if one torpedo is going to be enough to sink this Gulf, but we will find out shortly. Active sensors. It's going to rocket straight up once we launch. All right, tube two, fire. Shoot tube two, aye sir. Hey, don't run into it. Active. Uh, fire control, weapon acquired. Okay, it is locked on to the Gulf. I think. Uh, it's zigzagging around. There we go. It has it. I'm not seeing another sign of any of the other submarines in the area. Just concerning. Con maneuvering, making turns for five knots. We'll see if one's enough. Okay, uh, torpedo's closing. Con, torpedo room, tube one, yep, ready. tube one is loaded. Perfect. This boat may take two. We'll see. Most diesel boats seem to only take one. There we go. Sierra three, last bearing one, six, one, contact breaking up. Reload. One down. At least two more to go, I think. Con, torpedo room, tube two ready. Where is Sierra one? 
I may need to go active to find her. Make turns for 15 knots. Let's track this sub down. I may need to go active. Is she even near us? No, she's not. That's concerning. Let's go active. Switching to active search. Slow down to five knots. Make turns for five knots. Maneuvering eye. Make depth three zero zero feet. Dive by. Periscope depth. Make depth four, five feet, dive by. Take a listen. That was my ping. Raise the radar mast. See if any of them surfaced. There's the trawler. Okay, lower radar. Still nothing nearby. It's kind of lame looking at that, but it's good to know. Come Let's right turn in. north. Three, five, eight. Helm, I. Let's Con, get helm, down as well course. below the layer. Depth three, zero, zero feet. Head to knots. Make turns for one, zero knots. Maneuver we'll continue out. just searching for the Con, enemy here. At three, zero, zero feet. Dive by. Hopefully we'll be able to find her. Well, folks, I've been running around banging away on active for quite a while now. I, I'm i starting to think maybe the golf was the only thing here and Sierra 1 here is just a glitch. Maybe it was the golf as well when we first saw it. I don't know. But I've been banging away on active for quite a while now and I just have not picked anything up. So... This may be a uh, mission failed, but we're going to find out here. I don't think I'm going to find anything now. They're not nearby or anything, and I've been just patrolling. So uh, we're going to leave combat and cross your fingers, I guess. There was a whiskey in the area. That was it. That Well, that was anticlimactic. <laughs> just a golf and a whiskey. Okay. I was kind of expecting, uh, you know, like, like a boss fight, you know? But let's continue. There we go. Excellent job on intercepting and destroying this high priority target. Now wait further orders on this downlink. I guess we did have the Soviets pretty whipped. Reds throw in the towel. Czechoslovakian, Polish, and East German governments have made direct contact with NATO's political leadership, asking for an immediate separate peace. The peace officer was accompanied by a plea towards NATO to guarantee the future independence of these regions from communist pressure. In general terms, acceptance of this offer could mean NATO will oblige itself in assisting forcing Soviet troops out of these respective territories. Furthermore, the displacement of hundreds of thousands of civilians across Europe pose a massive humanitarian crisis for NATO, as well as other nations to resolve. War is over. States within the Soviet Union declare independence. The withdrawal has sparked a chain reaction within the Soviet Union with several of the peripheral Central Asian Federated States proclaiming their independence. The Union States of Turkmenia and Uzbekistan have respectively announced themselves free socialist republics, with Kazakhstan expected to follow any day. In response to the domestic turmoil, the Soviet army has ceased hostile operations in the West. Peace negotiations will commence at once. Whatever the outcome, it will be with the Soviet Union strongly reduced in allies and domestic territory. And that ends the series. Sigmander Wolfpack, USS Scamp, SSN 588, as well as the USS Shark. We did lose a boat. <laughs> that should be uh, noted here. We're at war for 63 days. We accomplished 20 missions. Capital ship sunk six. Other warships sunk seven. Submarine sunk 33. Seven merchant ships sunk as well for a total of 53 vessels sunk. Capital warship tonnage was 83,280 tons. Other warship tonnage was 20,040 tons. 
Submarine tonnage was 123,340 tons and merchant tonnage was 82,300 tons for a total of 308,960 tons of shipping sunk. Upon returning home, you are hailed as a war hero, receiving requests for interviews and numerous other public appearances. The rapid collapse of the Soviet Union has ended the Cold War and ushered in an era of lasting peace. And continue. Oh, there we go. That was it. I have to say, I'm very surprised we made it to the end of the 1968 campaign. I was playing on the realistic difficulty. There is one higher than this, but uh, I figured that would be just absolutely suicidal. No chance. But I, I, I'm very happy with this series. It went rather well. It was a lot of fun, too, playing with the older boats and the worst sensors and worst torpedoes. It definitely took some adapting. And I think I adapted relatively well. But I hope you all enjoyed this. I do plan on doing some more cold water stuff in the future, more specifically with mods. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see about that. Stay tuned for that. But I hope you all enjoyed the series. It was a lot of fun to make, as always. And yeah, I'm pretty bad at ending series, but that's that's going to conclude it. Thank you all for watching. Thanks for all the support in these videos and see you on the next one.